Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good, good evening. How are you, ladies? How was your day? Good, good. Are you happy that it's Friday or not? Mm, yes. <laughs> hmm. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good, good. Good, how are you? Oh, good. A little bit tired. I went to, well, I went downtown today and I had to do a lot of things, but no. I'm happy. No. <laughs> I passed no. my first uh, driver license test. Oh, <laughs> oh really? And you yeah. pass it? <laughs> I pass it. <laughs> wow, congratulations, teacher. Yeah, finally, I got one. <laughs> finally, really? Did you did it? Uh, before? Uh, no, never. No. This is what no. this was the first time. Yeah, that's uh, why I went downtown. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, congratulations, teacher. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. It's weekend now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, that's it. Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. So I think that why well, I, I felt like this was kind of busy, you know. <laughs> but I was studying the whole morning. <laughs> oh really? Uh, yeah. Did you spend a did you spend a lot of money, right? Um you... no, not really, you know. I just so uh, well, it costs like seventeen dollars because these are just so. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, because I, I haven't gone to BMT yet, but uh, I took um one from the, um, let's say, uh, the school. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. What about the driver? The uh, the license. The when you pay that for 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 drive uh, and the practical test no when you when you start to learn uh to drive oh no i didn't pay no ah you don't you don't pay no uh, i didn't i i was thought oh really uh, i was thought by a relative Somebody else teach you, maybe. I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, somebody um, helped me. Yeah. Well, that's why I didn't have trolls, but I it took me like some time to learn, you know. Okay, so now you be careful, teacher, because this <laughs> is, is freaking crazy. Yeah, I know. And, uh, and you know, a lot of people driving like a, like insane, I don't know, like a crazy, like a... <laughs> Probably be in the issue. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thanks. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm gonna be careful. Yeah. But... When I was driving, I almost had an accident. When oh, I was really? learning, yes, when I was learning. Oh, wow. But but everything is okay. Yeah. I'm uh -huh. still alive here with you guys. So yeah. that was like, that <laughs> yeah. was like uh, a, two years ago or one year ago, but I didn't have like that motivation yeah. to get the driver license before. Uh -huh. but now I think I'm ready. Are you ready? I think so. so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So don't drink, teacher. <laughs> if, if you drive, don't drink. <laughs> yes, yes yeah, yeah for sure yeah. okay yeah i want i want drink uh, maybe chocolate uh, but chocolate uh, is dangerous too <laughs> yeah you, you think no i don't think so <laughs> yeah chocolate is dangerous too and jennifer <laughs> is laughing at me you know <laughs> not jenny oh uh, yeah <laughs> okay Yes. Okay, so let me open that. Um, where we're gonna be working in a platform. Okay, and we have a new topic for today's lesson. Let me see. Here we have. 
But you know, in today's lesson, we're going to be checking a new topic, which is um, talking about the second conditional. Previously, we were discussing on the first one, right? So we continue into the second one. And you know, English uh, doesn't have a, an ending. So you, oh, well, language has a lot of uh, information, right? You know, okay. So for this lesson, let me see. Okay, so let me go a little bit back. Okay, so here we have it. Marlene, hi Marlene, how are you? <laughs> hi teacher. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so um, uh, Marlene, could you help us please reading the lesson objective for today's uh, lesson? Okay. In this class, you will listen to a conversation where in real conditional sentences. With if clause are used in context. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna be uh, checking first the conversation and then we are gonna be checking the grammar point. And after that, we're gonna have some uh, practice. Let's see. So just let me check the audio back again. Okay, sure. Here we go. And the guy in the article. Okay. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well... They say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Okay, so we're going to be practicing the conversation first and later we're going to be uh, listening to your opinions and ideas. So what will you do if you found $750,000? So what will you do? Let's see. Um, We're going to listen to the conversation a second time and then we practice. Conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000... Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Okay, cool. Let's see. Um, uh, first, I'm going to write the number. You know, that's kind of long number. So how how will you read that number? Seven. Seven hundred what, guys? Uh-huh. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Good. 
Let's see, we have some more words here. Look at this, some guy found $750,000. He returned it. And the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. Hmm, not so good. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? So what will you do? So what is the meaning for what will you do? Ideas? What will you do? What will you do? What is it? What is a translation for that question? Uh -huh. so what do you think? So what could be translation for that question? What will you do, guys? So imagine if you found this quantity, so what will you do? Jenny? Uh -huh. What will you do? What is it? Yeah. Okay, so somehow that's right. Okay, so what will you do? Uh, why? Um, well, I go straight. I would. So there we have a contraction for I would. I. I go straight to the mall in Spanish. Right. Okay. Uh, I could buy lots of night clothes and jewelry. Jewelry. That's Someone might also find out, uh, find out about it and then you could go to jail. What's the jail? Yeah. Hay una interrupción ahí. Um, no sé, yes, algo. let me check where it comes from. How about now? Is it better? Yes. Okay, got it. So we got. Okay, jail. What is that? Jail. What's jail? Person. Person. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, let me see. Uh how about jewelry? What's that? Jewelry? Oh yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, someone might also find out about it and then you could go to jail. Mm, you got a point there, right? Okay, let's see. So now let's practice the conversation uh, Phil and Pat. Um, let me see. Jenny, help me, please. So you're going to be reading Pat, um, Pat's part, okay? Look at this. Jenny, some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding? If I found... Thirty five thousand seven uh -huh. seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Mm, I won't return if too fast. Okay. Willen, willen. Return it so fast. Why? What will you do? Well, I do go straight to the mall and spend spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Okay. Something like this. Clothes. 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 Okay. Um, someone might also have uh, might also find out about it and then you could go to jail, Jenny. Mm, you got a point there. You wanna go to jail? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna go to the to jail. <laughs> to jail to seco. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks, Jenny. Um, let's check some words. Uh, for example, wooden, wooden, this is the negative, wooden, wooden, um, clothes, clothes, um, jail, and jewelry, jewelry. Jewelry. Um, okay, let me see. Let's try with um Maybe okay, Marlene, Marlene. Okay. Okay, so um, let me see, Marlene. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, and he returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. 
why? What will you do? Well, I go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy I could buy lots of nice clothes, clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Mm, you got a point there. Okay, thanks, Marlene. Let's see, Marlene, select a victim. Mm, Naftali. Naftali, okay. Marlene and Naftali, please go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the second victim, Marlene. Marlene, you start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it, and the owner, and the owner simply thank thank him with a phone call. You're kidding! If I if I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What will you do? Well. I then I go straight to the mall and I spend I spend it and I could buy a lot of nice clothes and generally. Someone might also find out about it and then you could go to jail. Hmm. You are, you gotta go a point there. No, oh, okay. So I was thinking that you were suggesting Marlene to go <laughs> to go to the shopping. Okay, so you got you've got You've got a point. You've got a point there. Okay, excellent. Naftali, Naftali, please select a big team. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Karen, Yvette. Karen. Karen. Hi, Karen. Hello, Karen. Let me see. Karen. Can you hear me? Oh yes, we can see. Okay, um Neftali, please could you start and Jenny, I mean Connie, you answer. Okay. Look at this. Sam guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding? If I found seven Fifty thousand dollars. I would so fast. Why? What you? What will you do? Well, I go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and and then you could go to jail. Uh, you got a pointer. Thank you. Okay, uh, Karen, could you select somebody else to practice with you? Select somebody else. Sara, um, Elisa. Sara, Elisa. Uh, Sarita? No. No, Sara. I start. No. Teacher? Okay. Okay, please. Look at um, this. Yes. Okay. Look at this. Sangha Sangha found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Turning it um the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might else find out about it, about it. And then you call, go to jail. Mm, you've got a point there. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks. Thanks. And um, I just need you to listen to the word jewelry, jewelry, which is uh, joyas. Let me see. I think I got it over here. Okay, listen. Jewelry. 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 
Jewelry. Jewelry. Jewelry. That's uh, jewelry. Let's see. Um, Sarita, please select somebody else. Um, Elisa Areli. Areli, okay, Areli. Um, Sarita, you start, and Sarita, Areli, you continue with Pat. Okay, uh, look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding if I found $750,000, I won't not return it so fast. It's so fast. Why? What will you do? Well, I go try to the mall and spend, and spend it. I could buy a lot of nice cutlets and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you will go. You could go to jail. Mm, you got a point here. Okay, let's see. Adelie, select somebody else. Uh, check the word could. 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 Okay, uh, Adelie, select somebody else. Someone that hasn't participated yet. Jose Lino? Yes. You start, Arely. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. I think it was not Arely. Look at the look at this. Some some what some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollar. He returned returned it and and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding! If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollar. I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What will you do? Well, I go straight to the mall and spend it. Spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you got a paint there, a point there. Okay, so let's check these words. Uh, really could, 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 or uh, this one, could. Um, and uh, I noticed this, that, um, check, let's check this, returned it, returned it, returned it, returned it, and this is return it, return it. Um, let's see that in context. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him, thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Return it. Return it. Okay. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Jose, select somebody else. Oscar Alexander. Okay. Um. Let me see. Oscar is almost always driving. Montana? Uh, yes. Are you free? Available? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Phil. I, I start. Yeah. Oh, I'm Pat. Yes. Okay. Go. Look at, look at this. Some, some guy found $750,000. He returned it he returned it and the owner simple sim, simply thank it him with a phone call you're kidding if i found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars i wouldn't return it so fast why what would you do well, I go straight to the mall and spend, spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out find out about about it. 
and then you could go to jail. You got a point there. Okay. Thanks. Um, let's see, we continue with Oscar. You continue, select your victim. Check this about it, about it, about it, about it, about it, about it, about it. Maria Santos Lopez. Okay. Okay, so you start in Maria, your path, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He he returned it. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. Mm, okay, so I think she's not um, Maria Santos. You hear? Hello? Okay, so let's see. Um, maybe a uh, Selma. Could you help us, Selma? Yes. Okay, Salman, please be my guest. You are kidding. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy a lot of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to the jail. Hmm, you have got a point there. Okay, so I noticed that, we, well, some of you had like a difficulty with this one. Thanked, thanked him, thanked him. So it's like a T here, but we try to join these two sounds thanked him, uh, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. Okay, let's see, uh, who's missing? Um, okay, Selma and Roberto, do you, uh, read the, do you read the conversation or not? I don't know, I don't remember. No, not the chair. Not yet, okay, sorry, yeah. we're no about to finish and we haven't asked you, okay. Um, Selma, you start, and Roberto, you continue. Okay. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it, and the own owner simply thanked him with a phone call. Are you kidding? If they found seven hundred fifty seven seven thousand. How is seven thousand fifty? I don't know. Seven hundred. Uh huh. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollar. I would return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I did it straight to the mall and I spend it. I could buy a lot of nice clothes and. Jewelry and jewelry. So one might also think out about it and then you call go to jail. Mm, you got a point there. Okay. Someone might. Someone so. might uh -huh. someone might also mm -hmm. someone might also find out uh, about it. Okay, let's see. Uh, Roberto select. Uh, somebody else. I don't know who hasn't participated yet. Maybe you know someone. Uh, let me see. Wendy, I think. I don't, I'm not really sure. Oh, no, Giselle. Giselle, okay. Okay, Giselle. You may start, uh, Roberto. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. 
look at this. Some uh, some guys found seven thousand fifty dollars. He returned it, and the owner simple thanks him with a phone call. Giselle, Giselle, could you uh, read path uh, part? Marie? No, not here. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, Giselle, Giselle, you're here. You are typing. I I found seven seven hundred. Seven hundred fifty points. Sixteen points. I won't return. I so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to to this smell and this paint. It I could buy loads of nice clothes and high ready. Someone mean also find out about it, and then you could go to the jail. Mm, you be good. I point three. Mm -hmm. Okay, there. Let's read the conversation again. Um, we're gonna repeat that conversation. So try to uh improve that, uh, Giselle. Okay, and Roberto, look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What will you do? Well, I go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Someone might also find out about it. And then you could go to jail. Hmm. You've got, you've got, you've got a point there. Okay, let's see. Maybe Giselle, you start with Phil and Roberto, you uh, read uh, Pat. Okay. Start, Giselle, start. Look at this. Giselle, you start with this one. Look with Phil. Phil. Yeah. Look and teeth some guy fans. Seven hundred. Seven hundred point. Okay, hold on. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Seven hundred fifteen thousand dollars. He returned it and this owner simply. Thank you. Being with a phone K. Okay, with a phone call. Call. With a phone call. You are kidding. If I found $750,000, I would return it so fast. Giselle? Wait, what would you do? Well, I didn't straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy it a lot of night clothes and jewelry. Someone might uh, also find out about it and thinks you could go to hell. Mm, you got a point there. Okay. Okay, uh, this one is clothes, clothes, clothes. Clothes, clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, let's see, we're gonna continue. Uh, time's flying. Thanks a lot, Giselle. Thanks, Roberto. Um, and let's see. So the question is at the end, basically. So what will you do if you uh find seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? 
So what will you do? Let me see. Um, Jenny, what will you do? What will you do? If you yeah. find this quantity. Uh, maybe call the police. Mm -hmm. Okay, call the police. Marlene police. is laughing. I don't know why. I think she doesn't believe you. <laughs> I don't know, teacher. It's really difficult decision for me. <laughs> I'll buy a Ferrari, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. Yeah, um, okay. And you, Marlene, so what do you think? So what will you do? Uh, maybe... Buying a Tesla. I'll buy, buy, a Tesla. A, buy a new house. Uh -huh, I would buy a new house. I would buy a new house. Or new pay cars. the university. Or pay, pay the, the university, university for my son. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> and the rest? Elisa, what will you do? Tell us. I will buy a motorcycle. A motorcycle. Okay, that's good. Maybe a motorcycle. No, that's not too much. Okay. <laughs> Sarita, what will you do? Uh, I would buy a car or a house. A house. Okay, good. Jose, tell us, Jose, what will you do? Pagar mi deuda. <laughs> okay, my dad's okay. Uh, Karen, all right, what will you do? Tell us. So tell us, we won't tell anyone, as she mentioned in the video. Yvette, what will you do? For example, I would, um, uh, let's see. Travel. I, okay, I would travel. Good. Giselle, what will you do? Get yes, Giselle. I would um, stop working, for example. <laughs> okay. And you, Giselle, what will you do? Michelle, what will you do? Michelle, Jeanette, Maria Santos, tell us, ladies, what will you do? I will stop working in the case. Um, I will return it, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I will well. buy a new phone. Buy an iPhone, right? An iPhone 2023. <laughs> a new phone or a Samsung. Okay. And let me see. Uh, Jeanette, Maria Santos. So what will you do, ladies? I will go to the supermarket. Okay. <laughs> I will go to the supermarket to buy all things. Everything, right? Neftali, tell us, Neftali. So what will you do with uh, $750,000? Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a good question, teacher, <laughs> for me. Uh-huh. Why? Yes. Uh, because I, I, would like, I would like to do a lot of things. For example, is if I if I found $750,000, uh, I would I would like buy a, a car mm -hmm. and I would like uh, take some vacations to, mm -hmm. to the beach and mm -hmm. I would like to uh, buy some presents to my girlfriend too. For example, I would like to buy her uh, a car, a lot of, a lot of uh, so flowers. Yeah, so romantic. A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of flowers with her, by her. And I don't know. Makeup, uh, makeup. <laughs> makeup, makeup, shoes, high heels. Shoes, yeah, high heels, uh, for makeup, her, yeah, yeah. Clothes. Uh -huh, and, mm -hmm. Teacher, maybe put a new business for me. Uh, running a business, running a business, maybe. Yeah, run a business. Yeah. 
run a business uh yes i think so yeah so neftali is kind of romantic you know but he has some ideas but neftali just going to buy something for her girlfriend yeah no for her, you know no for him. okay so he's so kind <laughs> if she if she is happy i happy too i happy too <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay 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 <laughs> interesting <laughs> okay yeah that's good thank you so we accept your opinion Nathalie. let's see um and how about the rest edgar uh, uh oscar oscar tell us oscar i will will my dream house okay i would buy my dream house okay construir, nice. teacher, construir, build. build ah okay build build sí. something like build okay build mm, okay and roberto why are you uh why are you so quiet so um, tell us so what will you do uh in my case I will travel around the world. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And when the money is gone, so what? What will yeah. you do? <laughs> it's not that easy money. Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Easy so, money. Yeah. Money. <laughs> Later on, uh, I don't know. Maybe they're going to catch me and... <laughs> and you're going to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> but first, let's... Let's travel. Let's travel. <laughs> Maybe two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Oh, I never come back again. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could be. It could be great. Yeah. Don't go to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, go to... yeah, no, but but Hawaii right now is so dangerous. Do you see yeah, the news? No, I saw the news. Yeah. So so, so sad the news. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So difficult, you know. So let's go another place. Let's go to another place. Yes. <laughs> Selma, yeah. Selma, do you want to share with us? I will buy a house for okay. my family. For your family. Okay, nice. Interesting. So we have been talking about, uh, um, let's say, a lot of things, right? But now we're thinking about um, things to, let's say, to please others. Yeah, that's great. So you can share that. But maybe if we won the lottery, so maybe we we would uh, save some money and spend some as well. Okay, nice. So now we continue uh, with our, let me see. Um, okay. Here. So by the end of this class, uh, we'll, be, we'll learn and understand the use of unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. We have some time. And I'm going to show you the video, and after that, we're going to have some exercise, okay? In this part, we may use... Okay. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An unreal conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. 
eighth clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in a discussion box. I might go to the police. Okay, so basically, um, she was mentioning that we're going to be using this unreal conditional when you want to talk about some in imaginary situations, right? And um, besides would, you can also be using that contracted form, the contracted form, I would, and I'd go, right? So uh, if I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall or I'd go, I'd go straight to the mall or you can also use some modal verbs for example could might and uh, okay and the models are follow remember by the base form right i could uh, buy lots of night clothes and jewelry i might go to the police or a negative form i wouldn't return it so fast let's see questions so far about it Not yet. Okay, so we're going to be checking the examples. Okay, and um, basically I'm going to show another PPT so you can check these structures. Okay, here. Can you see the presentation? Tell me. Yes. The teacher. Yes. Okay. So look at the example. If she had a car, it would be a Y1. So for the if plus, you're going to be needing um, if plus the subject plus a verb in the past tense, right? Past form of a verb. If she had a car, it would be a Y1. Si ya tuviera, yeah, like a car, it would be a Y1. Sería blanco. Let's see, let's check some more. Uh, how about this picture? So could you give me an example? Think about one example with that picture. Mm -hmm. If it if it's this, rained. This rained, okay. Right. So what, what will you do? I will... I could use. I, I wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't. I could. I might. So what do you think? So if it rained, I wouldn't. I might use. I might an use. Umbrella. An umbrella. Okay. What else? I wouldn't. Go to the street. I would park. go to the park. Go to the park. Okay. What else? What could you do? If it rained, I could take a shower. Take a home. Okay. Uh, I could stay. Uh, okay, stay at home. And take a shower. Maybe. Yeah. You know, rain is for these people who never take a shower. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. Let's see, here we have the example. If it wasn't raining now, we could eat outside. So there you have another possibility. Okay, um, let's see, look at this. Um, again, the structure that we need, uh, if plus subject plus a verb in the past, plus a subject plus would or a, any other modal verb, like could, might, may, and 
any model, right? Okay, so can you read that example? Let's see, Jenny, please help us. Read the example. If I have more time, I will or could learn to drive. Okay, yeah. And remember that you can also use um this with any other panel, right? If he, she, it, let's see, plus a uh, word, plus a uh, subject, plus word, plus base form, right, of a verb. If Tom were here, he would know what to do. If Tom were here, he would know what to do. Okay, let's see. Um, Can you read that one, uh, Jenny? Continue, please. Help us. If Tom were here, he'd. Uh, what is the pronunciation of he'd? He'd. 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 He'd know what to do. What to do. If I were you, I'd tell her about it. Mm -hmm. If I were you, I'd tell her about it. If I were you. Remember, we're going to be using the past form of verbs, even though it's, uh, if you have a verb from, let's say, any verb in the past or a verb to be, where or was. If I were you, so I would tell her or I tell her. So what is the contraction for these, um, for these, uh, let's say, for this uh, would I the first one I you hit she it and uh, date with okay so if I were you I uh, oh well they tell her about it date tell her about it it Tell her about it, she tell her about it, and he tell her about it. So you can modify that using contractions. Let me see. So let's check some examples. Okay, so emergency situation. So what will you do first? So try to give me an idea. So what will you do? If you burn your hand badly, will you first? Number one, put your hand under cold water, put oil on the burn, put alcohol on the burn. The first one. The first put one. Put your hand oh, under cold water. water. Okay. Mm, yeah. Number two, if someone drank some household chemical, will you first? What will you do? Mm -hmm. Call Call nine nine nine. Okay. Yeah. If someone drank some household chemical, yeah, where you first try to make the person sick. Um a synonym. There you have the synonym for sick in that case. It's a very cold. Or give the person sips of water or milk. Sips means sorbos, yeah. Sips of water or milk. So you will call a nine 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 or what else? Yeah, we go. Call nine nine nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> call nine nine nine. <laughs> Very nice, guys. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, maybe. Is there, what is the meaning of unconscious? Unconscious. Ah, oh, inconsciente. Oh. If someone comes <laughs> first, what do you do first? I would example, I would make sure the person is breathing I would move the person to a more comfortable position I would try to make him or her drink so what will you do I will make sure the person is breathing maybe okay uh -huh. Robert, uh -huh. what will you do uh -huh. Uh -huh. so what will you do? Move the person to a more comfortable position, 
try to make him or her drink. So what will you do? Mm, the first <laughs> turn. The first the first turn. Turn. Yeah. Okay. Yes, right. And then call 999. <laughs> 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 yes. Let's see. Um, how about you? Let me see. How about this one? Garrens, if you saw a car accident and the driver was unconscious, will you first try to move the casualty out of the car, turn off the car's ignition, or call 999? What is Dilo, Jenny, Dilo. <laughs> <Just a bit. laughs> call 999. <laughs> so I think we have to take a first. Um, <laughs> to learn about first, uh, uh, to learn about first aid and aprender de primera auxilios. Okay, okay. Um, casualty is big team in this case. So try to move the casualty out of the cars. Mm, no, really, I don't know. I think I won't do that. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Number five. Adrian, if you were to no Niña, el micrófono. Yeah, she's getting serious. Sorry, sorry. Okay. If you were trapped in a burning building, would you first call 999? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> so if you were trapped in a build in a burning building, will you first? So what will you do? I would rush to the lift. And you open the window and show for help. help. Shout for help. Okay. Yes. And you to the window. Um Karen, what will you do? Uh open the window and show the for help. Shout for help. Or maybe go to the room with a window and show the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So go to a room, a room with a window. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and shut the door. Okay, that's interesting. You know, I didn't think about it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stop in here, and I think we're going to continue Monday. If you need a presentation, just please uh, feel free to ask for that. I'm going to be sending that to you. I'm going to pass the attendance list because it's time, I guess. Yeah, Sadly, it's time. Let me see. Um, call nine nine nine. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Edgar, hello. Hi, Edgar. Not here. Elisa Eli Lopez Campos. Thanks. Giselle Marie Hernandez Torres. Giselle Marie Hernandez Torres. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Dice Janet eh, en el chat le escribió. Ok. Thanks, lady. Present Karen. teacher. Karen Yvette Villanueva. Karen Elizabeth. Ah, okay. Bernal. Ok, thanks, Karen. Tuve problemas con el Inter, teacher, me conecté tarde. Mm, ok, ok. Thanks, Karen. Let me see. Uh, maybe a Monday. You, maybe a Monday you have better luck, ok. María Santos López López. Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona. Present teacher. Okay. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Present teacher. Thanks, Michelle. Neftali Antonio Mejía Miranda. Present teacher. Thanks, Neftali. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present teacher. Thanks, Oscar. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. Present teacher. Thanks, uh, Roberto. Um, Sara Elisa Villoso Hernández. Present. Thanks, Sara. Selma Yamilet Peña Flores. Present. Thanks, Selma. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present. 
Thanks. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys, for being in today's class. So we'll see you on Monday. We still have two more classes. If you have questions about some activities, please send your pictures, okay, to me so I can check. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. Um, See you. Have a great weekend, okay? Have a great weekend. And don't drink Thanks. too much. Okay, have a good day. Talk later, of course. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Bye. Remember, call the 999. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're drunk, call 999. <laughs> 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 Bye. <laughs> okay, bye, ladies.